गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम लोकेश्वरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड डायटेटिक्स के एस आर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस फॉर वेमेन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी न्यूट्रिशन फॉर स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिटनेस यूनिट वन सो इन दिस यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रीफली सी अबाउट वॉट इज द फिजिकल फिटनेस सो हियर इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिजिकल फिटनेस फिजिकल फिटनेस रिफर्स टू द एबिलिटी ऑफ योर बॉडी systems to work together efficiently to allow you to be healthy and perform the activities of your daily living and being efficient means uh, doing uh, activities with at least effort possible a fit person is able to perform the school work uh, meet home responsibilities and still have energy to uh, enjoy the sports and other leisure activities so a fit person can uh, respond effectively to a normal life and also to the situations that is uh, leaves at home socking sleeves at a part of parting job and matching in the band at schools a fit person can also respond to the emergency situations for example uh, running to help them or uh, aiding the friends in distress the next thing is what is the benefits of physical activity as we all know it has a lot of benefits to our heart body and mind and also it contribute to preventing and managing the non communicable diseases so what are the non communicable diseases here are some examples that is cardiovascular disease uh, cancer diabetes so these are the non communicable diseases and physical activity also reduces the symptoms of depression and anxiety too so it also enhances the thinking learning and judgment and skills and also it enhances the healthy growth and development in your young people next it also improves the overall well being and globally uh, one in four adults do not meet the global uh, recommended levels of the physical activity so people who are insufficiently active have 20% to 30% increased the risk of the death compared to the people who are sufficiently active and more than 80% of the world's adolescent population is insufficiently physically active so this is the picture which represents the uh, muscle contraction uh, here we we are going to see uh, detail uh, knowledge about uh, muscle contraction so skeletal muscle so before that uh, we need to know uh, terms uh, which is going to take place in this throughout uh, paragraphs so we need to know the basics of some words so that is uh, one of the word is uh, skeletal muscle so skeletal muscle which is composed of the muscle fibers which have a smaller units called and this muscle fiber which have the similar uh, small units called the myofibrils and there are uh, three types of the proteins uh, that make up the myofibril they are the contractile regulatory and structural proteins so by contractile proteins uh, it can uh, it composed of which means that actin and myosin so actin is a thin filament and myosin is a thick filament as we all know and uh, here the f actin is made up of uh, multiple units of the g actin and along with the f actin two filaments of the regulatory proteins are the uh, a uh, tropomyosin and troponin at the regular intervals are present so during this muscle relaxation troponin covers the binding sites for the myosin or on the actin filaments next each myo myosin is composed of the multiple units of uh, uh, marrow myosin which has uh, two important parts a globular head that is known as heavy marrow myosin with a short arm and a tail is known as light marrow myosin and the head and the arms uh, pro- project at a regular distance angle from each other from the surface of the myosin filament and are known as the cross arms so the head bears binding sites for the atp and the active sites for the action so here is the effect of the exercise on the cardiovascular system so what uh, makes the cardiovascular system uh, affects because of doing exercises so it can ha- cause the heart to pump the blood into the circulation more effectively as it results in more forceful and efficient myocardial contractions and increase the perfusions of the tissues and organ uh, organs with the blood and increased oxygen delivery too so the aerobic exercise trains the heart to become more efficient and aerobic conditioning exercise such as running swimming training the heart lungs to pump the blood more efficiently allowing more oxygen uh, to get muscles uh, and organs the next thing is exercise is protective against the metabolic syndrome and that lowers the blood pressure works against the blood clotting and also lowers the stress all of which contribute to improve the cardiovascular system cardiovascular health so too much exercise can be harmful may cause the cardio a hypertrophy or sudden cardiac death in those with certain genetic characteristics so these are the some of the effect uh, of exercise on the cardiovascular system